Although a founding member of NATO and a member of European Union, France has a long-standing policy of independence and autonomy when it comes to its own military industry. The belief that political and strategic independence can only be maintained if the country has independent military is a reason why, when other European military complexes have either disappeared or become a shell of their former glory. French military complex still is a major player, fulfilling the needs of not just French, but global armed forces. De Shaw Rafale is one such product. Rafale translates into a gust of wind, which continues the De Shaw tradition of naming their fighter aircraft after atmospheric phenomena. For example, De Shaw Mirage, De Shaw Oregon, etc. Rafale is a twin-engine multi-role aircraft featuring delta-wing close-coupled canards. This allows it to be extremely agile and highly maneuverable and coupled with its sophisticated fly-by-wire flight control system, its handling characteristics become exceptional. During the late 70s, both French Air Force and French Navy realized that their fleet consisted of too many types of aircrafts and that for better synergy and operational optimization, they need to consolidate the fleet into a single aircraft, which is capable of doing multiple roles. Earlier plan was to develop the fighter aircraft in collaboration with multiple other nations, as this would reduce the cost of development and increase the order size. Inevitably, leading to a lower budget cost, economy of scale, so French joined UK, Germany, Italy and Spain to develop what was then called European Combat Aircraft, ECF. This plan, however, did not last as there were considerable differences in operational requirement of France and other partners. Also, there were disagreement regarding design considerations and work sharing. This led to French withdrawal from program and developing their own fighter independently. By middle of year 1986, the French successfully conducted the first flight of their technology demonstrator version called Rafale A. This version was a very bare-bone version of the Rafale, which lacked several features, and even the engine used in the aircraft was American GE F404 as the French M88 engine was still under development. The SOT chose to go this route of slow incremental upgrades over time to avoid any major halts in program and to minimize the risks associated with aircraft development. As the program progressed and confidence grew, subsystems were added and critical system like American engine was replaced with French M88 engine. The development of various versions of Rafale was then given a nod by the French government and two versions for Air Force and one variant for Navy was developed. Rafale B, two-seater version for Air Force. Rafale C, single-seater version for Air Force. Rafale M, single-seater naval variant of French Navy capable of operating from aircraft carrier. The disintegration of Soviet Union and the end of Cold War led to a period of budget cuts, which caused delays in the production and deployment of Rafale. French Navy was the first to induct their Rafale M and started operations in year 2000-2001, and this was followed by induction by French Air Force of their version. The incremental upgradation did not stop at the development and testing process. Over the years, the same philosophy has continued. The initial production version of Rafale was not multi-role at all, dubbed the F1. This version was basically just capable of air-to-air -air roles, 
and could not do the air-to-ground missions. Later, the air-to-ground capabilities were added and required systems like laser-guided WOM LGP and SCALP air-to-ground missile integrated to the aircraft and it was dubbed the F-2 standard. By the end of 2000, F-3 standard was launched which allowed the aircraft to be nuclear strike capable and other systems like state-of-the-art reconnaissance pods, more versatile weapon including latest air-to-air, air-to-ground and anti-ship missiles. The F-3 standard in itself saw quite few incremental upgrades and the latest iteration in F-3 is the F-3R which is equipped with state-of-the-art ISA radar, Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite and arguably the best air-to-air -air missile in the world, Meteor. India has also ordered 36 Rafale aircrafts for its Air Force and all of these are with IEF today. These Indian Rafale have been tailor-made as per IEF requirements and our Rafale F3R with Indian specific enhancements or ISE, which further improved their versatility and gave even better performance to an already world-class aircraft. The Indian Navy is also closing in on a deal for 26 Rafale F fighters for its aircraft carriers, which will also have these Indian-specific enhancements. The latest variant, dubbed the F4.1, is just around the corner and will ensure that Rafale will stay up to date and will be able to counter the emerging threats on the horizon. This incremental and continuous upgrade philosophy has paid off and Rafale's export success is one for the history books. Today, Rafale is in high demand globally and the saws order books are packed and still growing. Rafale might translate into a gust of wind, but it has taken the world by a storm.